Hi right guys, Mark Crossford here. We got uh, Coach Lockie. Thanks, uh, Coach. Quack. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> got Quack Lockie with us, and we've also got Stephen Buzzer oh, yeah. with the loveliest beard that YouTube has probably seen. You could almost have it. Can almost have its own channel, couldn't it? Probably. <laughs> I, think, I think it already has. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is a golf video, by the way. We are helping this guy with his swing. He's got some issues, I think, with the way he uses the face, his control or lack of, of the face. Uh, certainly on the back swing, which makes some funky things happen on the down swing. Let's see if we can help him. Can't stop looking at that beard. It is lovely. Let's get stuck in. Right, so here's the swing, guys. What are we seeing? What do you see in here? Speak to me. Face issues. So what would we say the face is doing? Twisting. Which way? People would say open. Correct. People would say that, Matthew. They would. <laughs> <laughs> we would say that. We <laughs> so what Matthew is saying is he is saying that face is twisted that way, which people would call open. If it is open, the question I always would ask is, what's it open to? And then they'd, uh, uh because the cup face always opens if you think about it because if we establish this as square so right angle to the target this is a slightly different point but if that is square then as soon as like that club now is open to that square even if i twist it that way which people would call close it's still open to that square if i have the face there which people would call close well that face is still open to its original square so it's always opening and then hopefully on the downswing it's always closing um, which is i like to use why i like to use the word twisted a bit more because uh, you're not really referencing it to anything if you just say open um, so as he goes back he is twisting the club a little bit around the axis of the shaft so i would imagine he's doing that in his wrists and forearms a bit wouldn't you yeah. looks like his hands move out and he twists it back yeah i feel like it's in the forearms because yeah. it, and that, if you think you've got the two bones in your forearms yeah. as soon as you twist it that way you'll now realign them so then they do tend to then go a bit flatter and a bit... Which is where he's gone, isn't it? Yeah, so that, that's what makes me think it's probably four hours. So for me, Matthew, if I was going to hit the ball when the club face had twisted this way, and I'll put that down at impact, what would you want me to do to hit the ball? What is he doing, it looks like, to try and hit the ball anywhere near target? Where's he moving the handle? He's going this way. Yeah, so Back. Matt's saying he's moving the handle. I and I would agree, which would do what to loft? Add it. It's definitely going to add it because he's twisted it around this axis to have the face lining up to target if he wanted to or anywhere in relationship to a path, he's going to have to move the handle back to deal with that compromise, which is going to result in maybe blading irons. Often I see fat shots when people do that. Club gets down a bit early. And if they do it well, it tends to have a lot of height on it. So because the dynamic loft has been added, isn't it? For me, I would like to see him try and change his understanding of how he moves his wrists on the way back. Yeah. Um, I would like him to feel maybe that as he turns the club back, he's moving it, twisting it down to the ground more. Just, I would throw it on its head. I would like to try and push him the other way yeah. to see what control he has. And then when he gets to the top of the backswing, I'd almost want him to turn it yeah. to the sky and hit some shots. What about you, Steve? Would you do the same thing? Yeah, very similar. I'm just going to walk out a shot here because I want to get something that would help me do a drill that I do with people as well. Yeah, I, I would be thinking forearms, I want no rotation at all. Yeah. It feels like, yeah. It, this is a position that you sometimes see people get wrong. Yeah. So again, it's, it's maybe not the case that there's zero, but for this guy, the feeling. Correct, yeah. Absolutely none. So you're almost pushing him the other yeah. way, that's what I would do. And you'll see well. what it's done to the to the forearm like yeah I'm expecting him now to get it a little a yeah little absolutely which hopefully will allow him to deliver dynamically I mean he looks quite coordinated to yeah. me yeah. I think often often for people like this if you fix a slight issue on the way back they'll coordinate to a new impact yeah. position so yeah. you're fixing impact by tackling something that goes on the way back that's not always the case because I often would work much more on the downswing but for some people it does work that way I would say what about you, Matt? Similar ideas? He just, I, do, I just don't think he understands where his face is. Yeah, I agree. Um, I, I totally like agree. You kind of said at the start, if you get someone to start with their club closed... 20 left, I do this a lot. over there, and I, straight. Yeah, ask him not hit to hit straight. it left. Yeah, absolutely. Completely the opposite as well to yeah. what he's doing over here. Yeah, and that, let's see what Matt's saying there. I agree. He's saying if you get someone to set up with the face 20 degrees close, say so extremely close, and then ask them not to hit the ball left, yeah. Often their delivery will just dynamic. They uh, they work it out. They hit a couple of left and then they work it out. It will blow their head off a bit when you say hit it straight. Correct. When it's like that. Yeah. Because they never start with their face like that. It's yeah. Always straight. And what I love about that, Joe, it's that kind of self-discovery for a student, which is yeah. priceless. If you can get a student to discover the answer themselves, yeah. 
it sticks with them. Mm -hmm. And that's not a golf thing, that's just a learning skill full stop. If you can get someone to feel like they're discovering the answer, it's often they're the facts that they remember rather than you've been in lectures and you know been at school where they teach they, they're talking to you for an hour you retain i don't know what the data is but it's like 20 percent of it where if you actually go out there and self-discover trial and error those kind of things those things are what really stick which that drill does for me another thing i would do if i just do this one if you take the club mat, i don't need it i would kind of go basket maybe slightly here feel like there's water in there he's definitely just chucking the water that way Maybe a couple of swings where he feels like he's just keeping the water in the basket. Maybe chucking it over his head. And if he wants, he could feel like he's almost chucking it over his head to the right there to get the feeling of his hands moving completely differently. Mm -hmm. He's just chucking the water there and even over there, which, because often on a range, those things are around. If I steal that club, no thanks, there. That gives them then the feeling of, all right, yeah, you're saying there, chuck it that way rather than just chuck it over that way. Yeah? Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope that helps. Post comments, love to hear. Um, thanks for sending swing, thanks for buying the app. Um, let me know what you think, if you tried that drill or not, it worked for you, didn't. I'd love to hear, and we'll speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments, love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links, all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching. Hi right, guys, Mark Crossfield here. We got uh, Coach Lockie. Thanks, uh, Coach. Quack. <coughs> 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 got Quack Lockie with us, and we've also got Stephen Buzzer Hi. with the loveliest beard that YouTube has probably seen. You could almost have it. Can almost have its own channel, couldn't it? Probably. <laughs> I, think, I think it already has. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is a golf video, by the way. We are helping this guy with his swing. He's got some issues, I think, with the way he uses the face, his control or lack of, of the face. Uh, certainly on the back swing, which makes some funky things happen on the downswing. Let's see if we can help him. Can't stop looking at that beard. It is lovely. Let's get stuck in. Right, so here's the swing, guys. What are we seeing? What do you see in here? Speak to me. Face issues. So what would we say the face is doing? Twisting. Which way? People would say open. Correct. People would say that, Matthew. They would. <laughs> <laughs>